welcome to White Shoulders Boar Goats and Farmstead. Well, good morning. It's Sunday. It's always nice when your goats know the uh, routine and they all go outside to wait for you to put their feed down. So I look over and uh, of course I always have some some critters in the aisleway. But uh, on the other side of Chloe is Jules' kid, the big monster buck, that uh, decided he wanted to go out the front door because he slipped through the fence. And he really is a monster. He knows where the hole is. <laughs> well, good Monday morning. Uh, everybody's in eating. Kids are having their alfalfa. There's a couple of them eating grain with their moms. But they uh, they really like this alfalfa. Uh, some of them like to feed more than others. Okay. I was... Uh, just down here and I uh, wormed the puppies and I thought I brought my phone but I didn't so I thought I would show the puppies wandering around out here you'll notice that they have little red dots on them that's because I wormed them and I wanted to make sure I got um, didn't get them twice. They're not eating, eating, but they are, uh, getting into the food pan and they're out here wandering around. They do bark at me when I come out. Aren't they cute? Hi, puppies. Hi. Hi, puppy. They're very vocal. I caught this little guy in the feed pan, eating. There went mama dog. I'm not sure I ever said, but uh, we do have two more does to kid. I just don't know when their due dates are. Vale. Um, she keeps looking closer and closer. And wine. Wine doesn't look any closer. She just looks fatter. There's Henna. Hi, Henna. And we got the Rugrats in the hay feeder never far from food there's little Layla she was beating on the cat that's Lucky's little girl She's going to be a monster, aren't you? Hey, Wine, are you having kids this year? This is Cleopatra, her mother Cleo behind her, and the baby behind her is little Layla. 
I still say they like to uh, sleep in their family groups. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Well, I just finished feeding and putting alfalfa down and uh, Vale's over there feeding her little kids. Little Buck is really vocal. Um, not a whole lot planned. Um, haven't had a whole lot planned for the week except for weigh-in kids. And I just haven't gotten around to it. So I apologize for not having the greatest of content this week. Um, I just uh, unplugged all of the tank heaters um, because it's supposed to be fairly warm. And that's what I do is if it's going to be warmer, I'll unplug the heaters. Everybody seems like they're doing pretty good. Well, good morning. It's Thursday and I'm getting ready for the uh, snowstorm that we're supposed to get Friday. Uh, so I went to the feed store. I've unloaded feed. Uh, and here I'm putting out hay, uh, put out hay to the bucks. And I was just busy, busy this morning. I could put a second bale in here, but they're very wasteful. So I'm just putting one. There, it's got a lid on it too. I could not resist this part of the video. They got new bedding, so of course they had to eat most of it. Or play in it. Good evening. It's Thursday still. And since this video has pretty much just been updates, I thought I'd show you an update of the kids. The bottle kids. Alright, they're really round until you get their bottles. And they have teeth, so I get bit sometimes. Hang on. Oh, come on. There you go. All right, so Christy gets a bucket because she's really good at nursing her bucket. has to find it <laughs> and my little buddy here I know some people think think he can see but I don't think he can see I think he senses things and this is what it's like to give him a bottle every time There you go. So, uh, it's always a job to feed Spazzy. He has gained a little, but I think he's eating, but I'm not really sure how much he's eating. So, and he always drinks upside down. Um, I have put them to two times a day milk now to make them eat because I feed store-bought milk and it's about $4.50 a gallon uh, because I'm out of goat's milk so and I don't feed replacer I don't believe in it I would uh, rather give them this this is they grow just fine on it. 
And I can tell you that for a fact because if you've seen Hercules, you'll know that he's never missed a meal. And he was raised on uh, store-bought milk. Well, she's done with her bottle. Done with the bucket. Now she's going to get mad at it. Um, he is nursing faster these days. So he's getting stronger until he loses it. Easy, buddy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. Some nights I wear more milk than he drinks. So, um, I do have another video that um, is going to come out tomorrow or the next day. Uh, it's uh, Vale's kidding. There is uh, some assistance to that kidding, so I thought I would show that. Uh-oh, I've got a cameraman. No, no. <laughs> no, buddy. Leave that alone. This one here comes in here every night with me to see what this thing is. And he, he kind of tortures me a little bit. But Spazzy's up to about... Oh, I don't know, really close to 14, 15 ounces, I think. He's all done. She's getting about 20 ounces. Here, buddy. Get back in there. Um. No, let me have that. You're done with it. them to both be on the bucket she eats so much more than he does I don't think that's a good idea there is just no telling the goofy things that you see these kids do that's his mom He's using her as a jungle gym. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you to all the new subscribers, and we'll see you next time.